And they're off, and it's fun and strokes from mid-pack who trots out for the lead. Judge Judy is in behind her second. Yankee Topaz moving up toward the outside. A girl named Sugar also left, and Cyrings Hanover is on hurried early. Campbell just eases her away in fifth position. Noble Message is sixth in behind her, and Winning Chip is gapped slightly at the tail of the field as they head around the turn with fun and strokes on the front end here. Yankee Topaz drops in neatly into the two-hole, and a girl named Sugar is parked and pressing on for Pierce on the outside. She's now third, being sent up after the lead. The quarter in 27-3, and three, and a girl named Sugar now challenging fun and strokes for the top, and fun and strokes is not going to let her go. Pierce would like to get into the two-hole there, but Heitman closes it up with Yankee Topaz, and racing in fourth is Judge Judy. Cy Rinks Hanover watching the action from fifth. She's about six lengths from the lead. Then it's Noble Message, another two and a half back in sixth. And Winning Chip still gapped at the back of the pack, trails the field. So Fun and Strokes, who went three heats last Friday, hits the half at a demanding 55 and three. And Campbell is on the move with Cy Rinks Hanover three wide. And Cy Rinks Hanover attacks quickly. And within a matter of stride, she's swooped the field to grab the front. Three eights to go, and Cyrix Hanover is a length and a half clear. Fun and Strokes trying to keep pace with her in second. Yankee Topaz has gone on a break. A girl named Sugar dropping back toward the outside. Judge Judy looking for room. Noble Message is further back as they hit three quarters in 124 and two. And Cyrix Hanover leads it as they come to the top of the stretch. Fun and Strokes still two lengths away, trying to take a shot at her from second. It's Cyrix Hanover trotting smoothly with an eighth of a mile to go, and Campbell is urging her on. Fun and stroke still two and a half lengths away second and Cyrinx Hanover seven for seven this year leads it fun and strokes trying to mount a rally to her Cyrinx Hanover under a drive fun and strokes closing Cyrinx Hanover in one 53 and two national season's record fun and stroke second judge Judy third she's by Lindy Lane out of the Super Bowl mayor Minx Hanover Owned by the Need to Know Stables of South Plainfield, New Jersey, Chris Marino trains, and John Campbell is in the sulky. Cyrinx Hanover taking the Tagliabue Cup, sponsored by Arlene and Jewel Siegel's Fashion Farms and 153 and 2. And as Joe Hartman points out, that's a North American season's record, covering all of North America as Cyrinx Hanover scores today in a career best of 153 and two fifths. The Tagliabue Cup, named after the Seagulls Hamiltonian winner from 1995, Tagliabue, ironically trained by Jim Campbell and driven by John Campbell, the driver of Cyrinx Hanover. The Seagulls, two of the most prominent owners in the sport of harness racing. Jules is a retired pharmacist. Arlene was a nurse. They had a chain of 38 discount drug stores, which they sold and have concentrated on standard bred racehorses, both breeding and racing. And Tagliabue and real artists stand at their fashion farm in New Hope, Pennsylvania. So we thank the Seagulls for their sponsorship. Carol Fallhaber, the Red Mile Clubhouse hostess, makes the Winner's Circle presentation. Hi, guys.